What's going on everybody? I'm Brandon from Walker's Woodworks. I do content creation and woodworking and I started working with Harvey recently and they sent me the Ambassador C14. I just got it set up so I want to go over a few things real quick and show you what I like about it so far. The first thing I had to do personally was switch out the plug. I put on a 20 amp twist lock plug so I can put it in the only outlet I have in my shop that runs 240. And besides that, putting it together was super easy because it was already put together. Came assembled, which was amazing. I had to put together my last bandsaw and it took about two, three hours. So it was great to not have to do that. Everything is really well made. I'm very surprised. The table is cast. Everything's very nice. All the components, these are metal, not plastic. The wheels look great. Everything's nice and lubed. And it came pretty much already set up. I had to adjust the bearings a little bit, which are, are uh, toolless, which is really nice. That's probably one of my favorite features about it. And the fence seems really solid as well. I ended up putting mine on a stand so I can roll it around because my shop's really small. But the other thing I really like about this is it has a brake. So it already has kind of an automatic brake that kicks in after a few seconds of you shutting it off. But this is a manual brake. That will actually stop the wheels, you know, if anything happens, or if you want to stop it a little quicker. Really like that feature. Like I said, I just got this thing, so I haven't had a chance to use it too much. I ran one or two pieces of wood through it, so let's run a couple boards through it and see how it does. I did add this 90 degree elbow because that way it'll line up with my desk collection and I can just slip this right on. That worked pretty well, much better than my last bandsaw. This actually has a pretty thick blade on it. It's really aggressive for resawing, so that's why you get the rough sawn look. I actually have three more blades on the way for this that are a little bit smaller for doing curves and things like that. So I will be testing this in the near future, but let me run a couple more boards through a little bigger than this, see how it does. So I don't have much scrap on hand right now, but I did find this drop of walnut that's about 12 inches tall and about three quarter inch wide. So let's see how it does on a taller or thinner piece. That didn't do too bad, but that blade on this thing is really aggressive. So that's why you get these really rough sawn marks and it was kind of jumping around a little bit. Probably better for like bigger, thicker lumber because the teeth on this thing are uh, kind of cross, cross teeth. I don't know what the cross cut, I guess, something like that. Anyway, I don't know a whole lot about band saws, by the way, if you didn't notice, but I do like this one. And I also just noticed there's a dust port under the motor as well. So I'll probably get a Y and connect to both the dust ports and that'll probably result in a lot better dust collection in the future. But for now, this thing is a huge upgrade over my saw. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you next time.